Lightning sources full worn live Doppler. Thunderstorms now in southern sections of Giles and Lawrence and Wayne County, Lincoln County. They're moving in from the south, and I can actually uh, shift up so you can see this better. And so as they continue to race north at 50 miles an hour, we're less than 100 miles the leading edge of these from the state of Kentucky. So theoretically, they're going to actually cross into Kentucky by 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight and just wear out this part of the atmosphere. And that would make the leading edge of these thunderstorms that move in later on tonight weaker and mainly rain producers. So um, this band of wet weather now across the south is responsible for some uh, damaging wind gusts. So we're going to have to watch for that possibility. And in fact, we'll probably see more warnings coming out. Uh, Hohenwald in Columbia, soon in time, Lewisburg and Shelbyville. But at least that will reduce the threat for tornadoes uh, in time. At least that's the way it appears based on what we're seeing on the radar right now. We continue to watch this cell due west of Nashville. Due west of Nashville, distance-wise from Nashville. Now, the good thing about this, this is not moving toward Nashville, but it's 45 miles west of Nashville moving toward Kentucky. So, unfortunately, it, it still has a tornado warning for it. This is the one we've been tracking for several hours this afternoon. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to roll right over Clarksville and Cunningham and then eventually move into Christian and Todd counties. So, as of late, we have not had another confirmation of the tornado. The most recent confirmation actually was was down to the Tennessee and Alabama line, but we've gotten a whole bunch of hail reports with this. And the most recent one comes to us um, between Lobelville and Waverly on Highway 13. What you're seeing on the right side there, that's a live view right now from Clarksville. And so the weather is still quite calm. Moving in from the west, we're starting to get that main band. And so you can see the leading edge rain developing and the main cell itself. If we are to still have a tornado in progress, uh, the main cell, the most dangerous part of that is still 25 miles away from Clarksville. So theoretically uh, into the Clarksville area around six o'clock or just after. Uh, the tornado warning does not include Clarksville. It does include parts of Montgomery County, but it shuts off right in through here. So far southwestern sections of Montgomery County, a good chunk of, uh, it looks like a good chunk of Humphreys County, and then a brand new severe thunderstorm warning for this line moving in from the west. That, the cell is now over in Camden and Eagle Creek and down through Parsons, and this is actually going to roll this way and impact areas like Linden, for example, with some strong gusty wind. Centerville, you're not in that warned area, but ex expect some wind gusts to maybe 60 miles an hour as that moves on through. So do expect some, some strong wind gusts and very heavy downpours. And we just check on the Memphis radar for a moment here because the severe threat is done out toward Memphis. And really, the severe threat is done in Henry County. Uh, and we just check on the, the rain from that radar. And notice all the yellows. This is the Memphis radar, so we're using this because it's closer to the activity. This is all moderate to heavy rain. So this is why we have a flash flood watch in effect for Middle Tennessee, because we will likely get at least one inch of rain in all Middle Tennessee, and maybe three inches, perhaps some spots more than that, on top of the three to six inches we've had over the last couple of weeks. And so in all likelihood, that's going to generate some uh, some spots of flooding moving forward. Folks, you're watching Full One Live Doppler Radar, and we do see Nashville a good distance away from these thunderstorms. And so we've got some dry times in Nashville and Murfreesboro, Gallatin, Cookville and Crossville. But soon this weather is going to move in from the south. It's completely warned for a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings and still a tornado warning. You see the tornado warning right now that continues for Wayne and Lawrence counties. Lisa. All right. So just one of a couple of different areas we're watching tonight for the potential of tornadoes and also for high winds right now and even some hail with these tornadoes. So we're looking here in Wayne County. So as Dan mentioned, tornado warning remaining in effect there for not only Wayne County, but Lawrence County, at least the western part of that county we're most concerned about here. This storm is moving closer to you. If you're anywhere near 64, got some loved ones out on 64, you know, just know that this storm is coming across the highway there right now, uh, getting very close to you. So we've got part of it already getting the heaviest rain, and then we're about to get even heavier rain moving through. So that's our tornado warning that remains in effect right through there. And we can even do a storm track on there as the storm is moving toward the northeast. So while we're doing that, also keep in mind that we do have this other severe thunderstorm warning that remains in effect here. And that's the one we've been watching that's already had a history of producing some very high winds 
as it's moved towards the north. We have a new warning that has just come out too, so we'll get the information on that. But this storm is going to move over to around Hohenwald um, by 552 as it moves on that northeast track right now. So just so many different warnings taking place. Let's see, this new warning is going to be a little bit farther to the east, and Dan's highlighting it right here. Specifically, those counties are going to include Rutherford, Williamson, Bedford, Marshall, Murray County, and that's going to be effect until 615. That's blue here, so blue here on our Channel 4 maps indicates severe thunderstorm warning, and then Dan had highlighted, and it's right here in black, the specific location. So that's a continuation of the warning that we have right here. Severe thunderstorm warning till 615. Again, that's for Rutherford, Williamson, also Bedford, Marshall, Murray County till 615. Those are the storms that continues to move to continue to move out of Alabama now into southern Middle Tennessee and then moving northward. What you're going to see with those is going to be very, very high wind right now, and they're almost moving due north. So really high wind coming towards you in Lewisburg, Shelbyville to Columbia. In those communities, potential for hail is there too. These have already had a history of producing both as they've been marching out of Alabama. So we've got tornado warning and severe thunderstorm warning right next to each other, right through here, and that has been extended northward. And then, of course, we've got this heavy line of rain that is now coming through. Paris, or Parsons, I should say, and also getting closer to you in Linden. Then we can march up through that line that extends from Parsons up to Camden, moving closer to you in Waverly right now. And by the way, if you're in Huntingdon, and let's go even farther to the north here, just to give these folks up here an idea of what's happening there north of Camden, and even right up here into Dover. So just some rain for you right now, some heavy rain, but nonetheless, you've got rain. Paris, you're looking at rain too, so good news for you. And then we've got all this moving into Clarksville. This view is out of Parsons right now, where I was just mentioning a little farther down the south, where we're getting the heavier rain right now that is pressing along that interstate. And just the heaviest has just moved beyond the Parsons area. So this is the more moderate, at least on our radar here, that you can see that they're dealing with. But that's a lot of rain as these folks are, are in our mobile four headed into Parsons right now. Very heavy stuff. Now, how about this tornado warning that we've been talking about? There is still one in effect. We've got the one that is down here to the south, and this does include folks who are over in Wayne County and also Lawrence County. You remain under that tornado warning. Still seeing some areas where we've got a little bit of green, a little bit of red, but not as well defined as it was a little bit earlier, but it is now moving across 64, lifting toward the northeast, getting closer to you in Hohenwald. So heads up to folks farther to the north as that storm is moving in your general direction direction. And then we also have this multi-county warning that remains in effect here. And this is for the cell that we've got moving. And this is the one that we've been tracking for quite a while. It's kind of changed its shape a little bit, but now moving into Adams Crossroads and extends up to Cumberland City. But right in through here is the most well-defined area, very close together where we see some red, some green. That's the twisting that's taking place in that tornado, potential tornado. And this is between Van Leer and also Aaron. So right in this area is the, the spot we're watching. And Dan, what is this highway right through? here. We'll see if we get a um, street Let's, identifier on that sure. so you can get your bearings a little bit if you're in this community and know exactly where you're going. So we've got 49 over here. This is 13 right through here. And what was this one right in through here? That's 46. So Highway 46 right here between Aaron and Van Leer. That's where we've got the most active weather right now. The potential of that twisting, that turning, that may be extending to the ground. A tornado is right there along 46. So if you're in this area and you can see a little bit of a notch right in through here and right there, that's where we're seeing the winds blowing into that storm. And then, of course, causing that potential rotation with the storm, too. So this is the same storm that we've been watching. We had earlier a very evident wall cloud with that storm. And by the way, when this particular storm was down in Hardin County, we had a report of a tornado with that too. Now, if you're over in Cunningham, that storm will be getting closer to you. So I want to make sure that you are, are with us here. Got your, your channel up loud there. Got your TV up loud so you can go to your safe place. Or you can also watch us on your smartphone with our Channel 4 app. And that is when you can sit there in your safe place. And 
and, and be sure and, and watch as the storm is moving by. We'll give you the all clear once it moves on out of your area. Right now, here are two black shaded areas. That's where we have the tornado warnings that remain in effect. And then the blue is where we have a severe thunderstorm warning that remains in effect. All of the mid-state is under a tornado watch at this point. Notice our line is looking a lot weaker than it was when it initially was off to the west, marching across the Mississippi River back toward Memphis. Much weaker version of that. That is good news in the respect that we're looking at more and more rain and perhaps we will see our atmosphere with this particular round of storms uh, becoming a little more settled. So once we once we get this by, it will exhaust our atmosphere and that will hopefully alleviate our chances of seeing severe weather a little bit later on tonight. We're still going to get a lot of rain with this. Here's our storms that are marching northward and it looks as though this batch will probably come through Nashville or at least get some of our eastern communities um, east of Nashville. So we'll watch that very closely, but that does look like it's going to make its way very close to us here in the Nashville area, moving right through Murfreesboro, uh, make its way also all the way into around the Franklin area. And Dan's putting an estimated time on there for you at 645. So right now we're at 540, about an hour or so from now, we could see those storms moving into Nashville as they're moving off to the north right now. And they stay on the same speed in the same general direction. That's the time that we anticipate that they will be right into Nashville. Now we put here the H's and the W's on our map. This is just kind of showing you a little proof positive of what these storms have already had a history of producing. These are reports coming in from some of our storm spotters with the National Weather Service. They've got some power lines down. That is just west of Loretto with that batch of storms coming across. And that's the one that has been under a tornado warning. The two H's that you see here indicating some hail that we've had with the storms. We're talking about some inch and a quarter size hail reported between Waverly and Lobelville. And that was um, just a little while ago with that batch of storms that come, came through there. And then we have more H's and W's here. A little dinghy here indicating where we have a new warning that is in effect. This is a tornado warning for Lewis County. So a new tornado warning is now in effect for Lewis County. And we're watching, of course, this that all this activity has been coming out of um, out of Alabama, and now we're, Dan is highlighting it for us. This is another one of those storms that was moving out of Wayne County, slowly but surely, and moving into and now what looks like to be another new warned area that does include southern Hickman County, northern Lawrence County, Lewis County. Murray County, East Central, Perry County, and also Northeastern Wayne. Let me get those again for you. That is a tornado warning now for Southern Hickman County, Northern Lawrence County, also for Lewis County, Murray County, West Central, Perry County, and also Northeastern Wayne County. And that's going to be in effect until 630. So you are in the warned area until 630 as that storm continues to lift towards the north right now. And with that, we do have the potential of some very gusty winds even if not that tornado by the way it's moving to the north at 50 miles an hour right now so this is the cell that we've been watching it's just moved farther to the north so that warning has been extended farther north if you're in columbia over murray county if you're in centerville if you're in Hohenwall, you are in line for this storm as it's moving toward the northeast and we were looking uh, for any type of wind indication with this storm we've got this little little area right through here that looks like we could be seeing some rotation there we'll take a look at the winds in just a second. Here's the latest to come across with that sweep. That is our red sweep. That's real time. And what we mean by that is that's what's happening right now. We don't have to wait on tilt scans like we do when we use the National Weather Service radar. This gives us the latest that we're seeing. We like to use both, but this is going to give us the latest image. So we're looking for any red or any green that may be showing up with this storm. Not seeing it as well defined as we did a few moments ago. Uh, seeing it right through there and then it disappeared for a few minutes. So we'll keep checking back right in through here where we could potentially have some of that rotation taking place. That was the only signature I saw there as it was lifting towards the north, unless Dan can see any better from his perspective, but that's what we're seeing right through here. So this is a storm that is warned for as it lifts towards the north right now and moves over to Hohenwald, Centerville, and also Columbia. That's our newest tornado warning and highlighting it right there. So a lot of real estate covered with that warning. 
And right up here, a tornado warning for uh, folks that are in Cumberland City, in Cunningham, and it does include parts of Montgomery County right now, and that includes Clarksville. And this warning as it's moving off to the north uh, very quickly around north, northeast, about 45 miles per hour. And the digging tell me we've got a brand new warning that has been issued. And this is going to be in effect until 630 does include Dixon County. This is a new tornado warning and this is for uh, let's see northwestern Dixon County also for eastern Houston Montgomery and southeastern Stewart County and that's in effect until 630. So again that's going to be southeastern Stewart Montgomery County including you in Clarksville eastern Houston County and northwestern Dixon and that in effect until 630. So that's the newest warning that has been issued right now and this is just a continuation of this same cell that has almost made its way across all of at least from top to bottom across Middle Tennessee coming in um, around Hardin County and moving toward the northeast right now. So if you're in any of these locations, heads up for you. Let's take a look at those winds again, Dan, with this storm and see if we can give folks a little better indication of where we're seeing this. And this is similar to picture to what we saw just a few minutes ago with the winds blowing toward the radar site and away from the radar site. And I quickly saw that some damage had been reported there, um, perhaps in Waverly, and we'll get a check on that in a second. But these are the estimated winds that we're seeing with this. 64, 45, so over 100 mile per hour winds uh, is estimated with this storm as it's moving this way, winds blowing toward the radar site and away from the radar site. So that means that we've got some rotation in this general direction. And this is the location where we're talking about. So if we look where we are here, here's Cumberland City and here's the Cunningham area right through here. And this is lifting up toward the northeast. Um, Palmyra, this is going to be headed very close to you, coming almost in between Palmyra and Cunningham if it continues on this path that it's taking right now. That also will bring it very close to Clarksville to St. Bethlehem too. So just want you to know that you need to head on into your safe place. Of course, we don't want to scare you here. We just want to watch you, watch these storms and make sure that you're where you need to be when these storms are coming through. So go on and take those precautions. If you're up there in Clarksville with this storm, having a history of already some, producing some tornadoes and uh, head to that safe place. So we're talking, if you've got a storm room, that's terrific. Um, if you've got just a basement, maybe a heavy piece of furniture in that basement, always a good idea to get under that. That helps out. And if you don't have a basement or any type of underground place to get, then make sure you're in the lowest level of your home, putting as many walls between you and the outside as possible. So we're talking a bathroom, maybe uh, maybe a closet might be the best place to be in your home. But that's where we want you to be right now. If you're in any of these spots here as this storm is lifting toward the northeast, um, we do have some reports with the same storm of some damage that came through Waverly. So you're gonna see that over there. There is a huge tree. Now that is an older tree that has come down on that house. We don't know yet if that was a tornado that caused that or if that was high winds, but we know that we've got some damage already with the same cell moving toward the Northeast. So that's why we want you to take those precautions and head to your safe area there. Uh, a brand new warning has also been issued as we're looking at this uh, tornado warning. We have to pull out and show you that right over here towards the east. We've got an, a continuation or an addition to this particular warning and it's kind of extending it farther off towards the east. So a severe thunderstorm warning has now been issued for east central Rutherford County, western Warren County, Cannon, and Coffee County right now. That is until 615. So that's kind of a continuation and extension of that warning that we already had in place. So now you're included in that if you're in east central Rutherford County, western Warren, Cannon, Coffee until 615 with this storm continuing to move towards the north. North at about 60 miles per hour. So if you're in Manchester, Woodbury, Tullahoma, around the Hillsborough area, over here towards the east. Those are some of the communities that will see this storm coming through. And this has had some very high winds with it when it was down in Alabama and moved now into Middle Tennessee. We've had some pretty strong winds there. All these locations you see here remaining under that warning right now. And Dan had highlighted it. And that does include anybody from Franklin all the way over to McMinnville, including Murfreesboro. That's your severe thunderstorm warning. We think this storm will most likely make it into the Nashville area in some form or fashion 
Houston by at least 645, so less than an hour from now. This is a live view from over at Clarksville. Of course, Clarksville, we're seeing that potential tornado, tornadic producing storm getting much, much closer to you. We've highlighted some of the areas where it's going to be headed to Louise at 551, over to Oak Ridge at 552, and coming to you in Cunningham at 554, and then moving towards Palmyra, too, and that will be at 555 to around uh, Hackberry at 556 and Dodsonville at 559. So those are locations where this potential uh, tornadic storm will be moving. Also around Hilltop at 559. There's your estimate on Clarksville, 605. Cumberland Heights at 601. So Clarksville, 605. And around New Providence, 606. To Bel Air Estates at 608. And to the Dunbar Cave area over to you at 608. So again, Clarksville estimated time of arrival for this storm at 605. Now we're going down here from where we think potentially the tornado um, it may be occurring. So you're going to see some high winds. You're going to get some heavy downpours in Clarksville. Before that, that was the time estimated for the potential tornado down here on the bottom of the storm. Now we also have a tornado war warning that has been issued here farther to the south, and that does include folks that are here in Hohenwald right now. And that's the storm that has moved across Wayne County and is now moving up towards the north, now moving across 412. Here comes our forewarned live Doppler radar, that red real time sweep showing us where the storm is now. So it's updating that storm as it's moving across 412 too. So another location where if you're right there near home at 412, a little bit of green and red right in through here. They're not as close together as we oftentimes will look for with the storm uh, that potentially could have a tornado with it. But we know this could have some very high winds some very damaging winds, regardless of the fact where we have a tornado or not. So I want you to head your, make, take your precautions. Now, if you're in Waynesboro, by the way, I think we can call that uh, all clear for you because the storm is lifting farther off to the north. So right through here, if you're in Waynesboro, just about out of the neck of the woods there as it's lifting northeast toward you, you're going to get some more rain because we've got stuff back to the west, to the south that will be moving in eventually. Let's head back over to Dan. Okay, Lisa, we've gotten uh, some additional reports coming in in just the last moment. Tr trees on power lines between St. Joe in Iron City in Lawrenceburg, or Lawrence County, I should say. Also, trees on houses in Iron City. So, a number of uh, wind damage reports coming out from this band of weather that's moved north from Alabama into southern middle Tennessee. So as the evening progresses, as we continue to track this stormy weather moving north and moving east as well across middle Tennessee, we'll see more of these W showing up indicating wind reports and a few more H's indicating hail. Hopefully no more uh, indicators for tornadoes. Uh, still, we have that tornado warning. If you're watching from Montgomery County right now, we don't want to leave you uh, without information for too very long because it's very populous and you've got that tornado warning in effect. So tornado warning remains in effect right now until 6.30 for that storm. Let's briefly go to forewarn live off the radar. We continue to track this thing. We've been on this uh, storm for quite some time now, uh, all the way down toward the Tennessee-Alabama border. And in fact, if we change to Channel 4 3D storm scan, that will show this cell that's shown great rotation with it here in Humphreys County just moments ago, about to track over Houston County and then move into uh, southern sections of Montgomery County. And you can clearly see that lowering that we talk about so often with uh, potentially showing some sort of funnel as we go forward in time. You can see it right in through here. So perhaps the the funnel on that back side of the cell. That's typically where you look for it on that southwest flank. You can see the hook in this view and it will go forward uh, additionally from here. Even better view of that lowering on that southwest flank of the storm and it continues even and perhaps even most well defined right there as it was about to cross into Montgomery County. So no, that's really the updraft core. So that's where the winds go up into this thunderstorm and that's typically exactly where you have the tornado forming or funnel forming beneath the base of that. So a tornado is essentially just rising, rotating air. It's not sinking air. And so if you're ever out there and you actually see, you know, some sort of a lowering that looks ominous, if the wind is at your back as you're looking toward it, then you're in the inflow and that very well could be a funnel developing or, or tornado developing or in progress. So again, full one live Doppler, that real time sweep shows the most dangerous part of the storm right now in the Cunningham area. 
And so this has shown great rotation for quite some time. Distance from downtown Nashville, it's right around this hook. Our distance from downtown Clarksville, I should say, is just eight miles. So it's moving in very quickly. And we check on that rotation once again. And it shows perhaps some of the best packing of greens and reds we've seen at all with this cell. So it continues to show an intensification of that rotation and it's moving right toward Clarksville. So again, as Lisa mentioned just a few moments ago, we're not trying to alarm you. We just want to make sure you're respecting this thunderstorm. It happens one or two times a year when you get a thunderstorm that really gets your attention. And this is without question one of those in the heart of Montgomery County. So uh, please uh, drop what you're doing in, in Clarksville if you haven't done so already and gather the family and get into that safe spot. It's about to cross Highway 30 just south of you again in Clarksville down toward uh, Cunningham and we tighten up the view a little bit you can see the the road that connects essentially Woodlawn and Clarksville and that's highway 79 so it's uh, and this is live in Clarksville right now so it shows that that cell is starting to bear down um, just to the south of Clarksville we go back to full one live Doppler a very well-defined hook in that localized area pushing north of Cunningham. Still, you have the cell over you in Cunningham, but it's starting to, the hook is starting to emerge and, and move north, and it will continue to do so and eventually a roll into the state of Kentucky. So this cell, when it's done here, will be in at least three states tonight. It's just held its own because the winds, the atmosphere is perfect for these supercell thunderstorms. Lisa? And right along that line, Dan, that, that new warning has been issued even farther off to the north here. So let's get a look. Now it includes Todd County. So that's what Dan was talking about is extending in Kentucky. The particulars on that storm, it is going to be in effect until 645. So that's our new tornado warning and really an extension of the existing tornado warning until 645. The storm is moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So now Todd County is included in that warning. The potential there is for the tornado, also some very large size hail and the potential for some damaging winds, even if we don't see a tornado with this storm. So we want to take these very serious it is now moving into Clarksville right now and moving up to the northeast 45 50 miles an hour. So moving pretty quickly and very soon we'll be crossing that state line. But Dan was talking about it. It's some of the most impressive as far as in terms of dangerous winds situation that we have seen in our signature that we're seeing here. Very well defined, your reds, your greens, very close together. But here's Clarksville, and here is Cunningham right now. So if you are in Clarksville, that storm will come very close to you. And these are estimates of the winds associated with those winds that are blowing away from the radar site toward the radar sites. So if this is the circulation right here, we're talking to close to 100 mile per hour winds, uh, evident at least here with that storm as it moves towards the northeast right now. So Cunningham, the storm is moving just to the north of you. You saw it with the winds. This is what it looks like on the reflectivity where we've got the winds blowing in, and that's what gives us this little indentation that we see here and almost the hook shape when you look at it from that perspective of the storm that potentially is producing that tornado right now. You can see how close it is to Clarksville, and eventually this will be moving across the interstate, too. That's the reason that Todd County now has been added to this list of warned counties right now. So very serious situation here. That's why we want you to go on and head to your safe place. So, uh, you know, we've, we've already had a little earlier with this storm a report of a tornado. We know it's a dangerous storm. Big trees down on a home over in Waverly. Same storm. So that's why we want you to take this one very seriously here. This is 41A, the bypass there, and of course you see Highway 41 right through here, and this is Highway 13, so this gives you a good idea of where this storm is, and of course that is I-24 there to the north, and if it holds together and continuing, and we have no reason to believe it's going to weaken at this point, it's going to be headed right across the interstate. This is 149, as Dan's showing us here with some of our street spotting, and moving up to the northeast. There comes that red sweep, so you can see it's even closer to Clarksville right now. Looks like this part of the storm maybe moves very close to downtown Clarksville as it lifts towards the northeast at 45 to 50 miles an hour right now. So I want you to take those precautions. We've been watching this live picture and it has changed as we've watched it too, becoming much more, much darker now than it was a little earlier. So we're seeing this storm move in closer and closer to the downtown area. Here is Clarksville and you're probably going to start to see some very, very heavy 
heavy rain uh, coming into your area very soon. And if you're not already seeing it, perhaps if you're on the eastern part of town, you're not seeing it just yet, but it will be moving to you very soon as you see that red and that red is indicative of some very heavy downpours. This pink that we're seeing here right along 149 would not be surprised to see a bit of hail coming out of that storm right now as it moves towards the northeast right now. So pull out. Let's show let's get the whole perspective once again. There's so much going on with these storms. Dan has got an estimate on the winds there with this near 100 miles per hour with that storm getting closer to you in Clarksville. There comes our latest sweep across. Now, I wanted to give you this view again, just to sort it all out for you, show you where things are. This is our severe thunderstorm warning that we've seen here to the north, and that's lifting all the way towards you. If you're in Nashville, you're not under severe thunderstorm warning yet, but you are if you are in Williamson County, in Rutherford County. As a matter of fact, all the way over to Warren County, remain under severe thunderstorm warning. And then we have our cell.